Thailand has a huge second-hand car industry, and when people want to sell quickly, they often turn to the team at Mannheim. Mannheim in action. Every Wednesday cars and motorbikes are put up for auction here on the lot and it moves at a frenetic pace. There's a vehicle sold here every few minutes. Mannheim Auctions is the largest and highest volume wholesale automobile auction company in the world. The company provides used vehicle services and marketplaces to professional buyers and sellers of the millions of cars that change hands every year. It has set the standard in the wholesale automobile industry for 60 years and has more than 32,000 employees at its 135 auction and office locations around the world. At its huge auction site in Thailand, the auction is truly a maze on stage and several hundred cars go under the hammer on a typical day like this. On the Bangkok lot you'll find new cars that have been damaged, road wrecks, bikes and trucks and all manner of vehicles of all ages. Mannheim Auctions has a long and colourful history that dates back to 1945. During World War II, auto manufacturers were so involved with the war effort that used cars became the major source of transportation. By 1959, Mannheim Auto Auction had become the largest auto auction in the world. In 1994, the company conducted the first ever live satellite auction. Today, its technology, the online vehicle exchange, offers a system which enables users to exchange vehicles online among dealers and consignors. The Mannheim Simulcast links its auctions to the world market and is the first company to introduce online selling technologies in Thailand. This system provides an online auction service in 100% real time with software developed exclusively by Mannheim. Well Simon, it's all happening in there. It's incredible pace, really frenetic. But if you can't actually attend the auction, a lot of people buy through this system, don't they? A lot of dealers buy through uh, this system. So this is what the dealer sees. Perhaps the dealer's in Chiang Mai or the dealer is in Phuket, but the auction is in Bangkok. Right. So if he logs on with his password, password and uh, username, and he's pre-registered in our system, he can, this is what he will see. So he can see the auction, he can hear the auction through his uh, headphones or from his computer, and he can bid directly to the auctioneer. It's real time. Uh, real, real time transaction uh, to enable them to either watch the market and see whether the market is up or down considering yeah. their, the stock that they have but also if they think gosh that's cheap I'll have, a, I'll have a go at that they can click a bid and their bid will be recorded in the, in the natural order at the same speed as you've seen outside where it's, uh, it's full power 120% throttle and they're counting that bid as they're going so the dealer might say, well, if this car was at uh, 158 and he bid it to 160, but then somebody else here bid it to 162, well, he had a chance, he was in. He might click again and say, I quite like that car, I'll try again, I'll try again, I'll try again. So he can be the buyer here in this, exactly the same way that the, the, the buyer who's come, come to the auction can. Wow. Yeah. Now I noticed too that when you're on the floor, you can actually see who is bidding by the internet as well. And you can actually watch. I was yeah. out there watching sort of the the activity going on. You can see that someone online was making well, a, this, a bid. 
as a, this is here for display to, to some of our corporate customers who want to understand uh, just how the system works. So if we say that, uh, uh, for example, this car is at uh, 718, uh, this is the bit, or 720 now, this is the price that the, the buyers get to see in the auction lane. And this light here will flash if, if the bid is coming from the internet. And that allows the people who are here in the auction, that TV there is the same as this TV here. Yeah. So if you're sitting here at the auction, you can actually see if someone is bidding from the internet and what price they were at, but you cannot see their name. Right. Uh, neither can the auctioneer. It's, it, uh, it sounds the opposite of what is transparent, but it is actually transparent because we don't want bidders to gang up on other ones and cause collusion. So right. there are many uh, parts of this for governance and for transparency, which have been proven around the world because this system sells 2.5 million cars around the world for Mannheim. Wow. Uh, that's that's online sales. Yes. Inline sales are about six million. So uh, it's gathering gathering pace uh, and this system here shows the dealer, uh, shows the bidders who are here, is the bid from the web or is it here in the building? Mannheim recently celebrated 10 years in Thailand and the company's international team was on hand to join in the milestone event. My name is David Head. I'm the Chief Financial Officer for Mannheim Asia Pacific covering Thailand, Australia and New Zealand. And I had just recently transferred over from the U.S. and having the time of my life. It's a great business and we're really uh, happy to be here with Thailand and marking their 10th anniversary. Mannheim across the globe offers for auction over 10 million vehicles each year and probably generates proceeds of sale in excess of 50 billion dollars annually. So it's a significant business. I dedicated myself uh, to making this business work from scratch and uh, here it is, a really big success for our company. Are we ready? The anniversary event included a special charity auction and proceeds went to help underprivileged children at Barn Gerda, the children's charity caring for HIV and AIDS infected orphans in Lobbury province. So if you have a vehicle to sell, or you want to buy, then ask your dealer to take you to a Mannheim auction.